hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so we will continue our discussion related to biomedical instrumentation and uh, we in the previous videos we we started our discussion related to pressure transducers pressure measurement from the biomedical point of view medical instrumentation so uh, we have already discussed the basic principle of pressure measurement which involves the use of displacement transducer okay so here for the principle of measurement of pressure two sensing elements are required a primary sensing element called as diaphragm which is connected to the source of pressure or the body part it detects the pressure fluctuations causing it to expand or get compressed and that compression and expansion of this diaphragm is detected by a secondary sensing element which is the displacement transducer which gives us a electrical output so different types of displacement transducer can be used based uh, based upon capacitive operating principle inductive type strain gauge which we are going to discuss now a uh, differential transformer the lvdt type uh, the linear and angular encoder both optical and magnetic piezoelectric type or potentiometer type so biomedical pressure measurement is uh, very important as it is a very important uh, parameter vital parameter from the diagnostic point of view the most commonly used or the commonly uh, heard terms in biomedical pressure measurement is blood pressure there are other pressure measurements also so we require a setup which gives us an accurate and precise uh, value in in the form of a number okay so that we can easily comprehend it so the use of strain gauge as a secondary sensing element is because that it can also be used as a primary transducer directly connected to the source of displacement in case of displacement it acts as a primary transducer but as we are using a diaphragm here in this case the strain gauge behaves as a secondary transducer so it can be used for the measurement of strain stress displacement force pressure so here we are using it as a displacement transducer as a secondary sensing element because diaphragm is the primary sensing element so the basic operating principle is that it operates on the principle of piezo resistive effect change of resistance because of change in the dimensions of the material so we know that resistance is given by r is equal to rho l by a where rho is the resistivity l is the length a is the area of cross section of the material now there are three ways in which resistance can be changed length area resistivity here change in resistivity has no role to play here length and cross sectional area are the two parameters that undergo change and because of that resistance changes okay so the basic setup of uh, a strain gauge used in biomedical pressure transducers and biomedical instrumentation it falls in two categories bonded strain gauges or unbonded strain gauges so the bonded strain gauge it consists of a two frame setup okay so the frames can be made of of uh, any uh, material like paper hard paper cardboard uh, bakelite any material the two frames one is fixed stationary the other one is movable so this movable frame is connected to the diaphragm so the two frames they are connected to each other through four wires okay and they are fixed on the fixed frame with the help of pins so what happens is that uh, this is the bonded strain gauge the unbonded strain gauge also forms a similar setup again a base material 
which is called as backing material cardboard paper and on that a wire grid is formed which is fixed with the help of again the pin setup and that is connected to the source so what happens is that when the pressure fluctuations happen the diaphragm it undergoes expansion and compression as a result of that the movable frame in case of bonded strain gauge it moves here and there to the left or to the right as a result of which the wires they get stretched it can, it can they can either get compressed or they can expand as a result of that there is a change in the length or cross sectional area suppose this is the wire in its original form suppose it undergoes expansion it elongates so there will be some amount of increase in length let's say by margin dl and as a result there will be a reduction in area by minus da factor similarly if it undergoes compression then length will decrease by a factor let's say minus dl and area will increase by a factor d so both change in length and change in cross sectional area give rise to change in resistance when there is a change in length we know resistance is directly proportional to the length of the material so when length increases resistance increases when length decreases resistance decreases okay this similarly change in cross sectional area resistance is inversely proportional to cross sectional area so as area increases resistance decreases as area decreases resistance increases now so here another two factors also play a very important role while the design of transducers is taken into consideration those two factors which are related to piezo resistive effect they are poisson's ratio and gauge factor so poisson's ratio is basically uh defined as the per unit change in diameter of the wire divided by the per unit change in length okay so it is given by the lateral strain and the longitudinal strain okay so considering a circular uh cross section it is given as this this is the poisson's ratio and gauge factor it is the per unit change in resistance brought about by the change in dimensions divided by the per unit change in length dr by r dl by l where dr is the change in resistance divided by the original resistance and dl is the change in length divided by the original length okay so two important factors poisson's ratio and gauge factor so gauge factor for different materials which are used are this and uh, the relationship between poisson's ratio and gauge factor it is given by this formula gauge factor is 1 plus 2 times poisson's ratio plus d rho by rho by dl by l where this is the change in resistivity divided by the original resistivity this is the change in length divided by the original length but this factor is almost negligible so it is simply 1 plus 2 twice of poisson's ratio so after uh the material the strain gauge setup it undergoes compression or expansion because of the movement there is a change in resistance so that change in resistance has to be converted into suitable voltage or current signal so for that with stone bridge setup is used where the strain gauge can form either the four arms of the with stone bridge or one arm of the with stone bridge taking into account a particular wire grid so both things can be used four arms of the with stone bridge uh, forming the four wires or taking into account one wire and forming it at as one arm of the with stone bridge so whenever there will be a change in resistance the with stone bridge will become unbalanced and there will be a current flow and again it has to be passed through proper signal conditioning circuitry to amplify the signal uh, linearize the output remove the unwanted noise and interference signals and uh, uh, frequency response matching to so that we get the 
uh, desired signal without any loss and then it is given to a digital readout LCD display or a pointer scale arrangement whatever uh, setup is used so this is the basic principle of use of a strain gauge transducer okay displacement transducer as a pressure measurement device okay so here the same thing is used displacement transducer connected to the diaphragm that diaphragm is connected to the body part where pressure is to be measured pressure fluctuations in the body causes diaphragm to compress or get expand that causes the displacement transducer to move to respond to the displacement and that gives us a suitable electrical signal same thing so here we have discussed the strain gauge uh, transducer as a biomedical pressure transducer okay so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to engineering science and technology have a great day thank you very much